What's up guys? It's Aaron with New Buzz Farm. Uh, I was just doing a walkthrough on my property. I like to do as much as I possibly can and I came across um, some plants that I just wanted to talk about real quick. Kind of what they are and I uh, found actually a cluster of three of them I wanted to talk about all in one place so it makes things real convenient. So this right here, um, you can see here, this is wood sorrel. Um, these are no nothing, none of these things um, I planted. Um, they all just grew here on their own, but they're uh, useful plants. So wood sorrel, <laughs> there's actually two different varieties here, which is what makes this interesting. This is a wood sorrel, the yellow flowers, and this is a different variety of wood sorrel with these pinkish purple flowers. But see, they both have these interesting heart-shaped uh, leaves, and they are, I believe the, it's oxalis is the family, the species. Uh, anyway, they're different varieties of the same family, but both are edible and both make really good garnishes for like soups or just throw on a salad. Um, they have a, a strong, um, they, it's oxalic acid is what gives it the flavor, but they're a very strong sour flavor to them. Pretty delicious. Now down here, these are little tiny babies just starting out. Um, this is uh, partridge pea, and that is a nitrogen fixer, so they have the potential to improve your soil um, through nitrogen modules um, attached to the root systems, um, and they are a very, very great pollinator species, and they get, they'll get about two feet tall and flower out these really pretty uh, yellow flowers. So you got three species here that are all cool and useful all right next to each other in a clump. All of these are broadleaf species and would be killed if I were to use broadleaf herbicides, which I do not. So just thought that was interesting. Okay, here are two more interesting uh, and important species. Um, and you can see this right here. This is yarrow. Yarrow is uh, edible and medicinal. And you can see, <laughs> look at the uh, the uh, insect benefits here. We've got, this thing is covered um, in different insects being supported by this plant. It is a, a very great pollinator support species. And I said it's it's been used medicinally for a long time um, by humans. And, um, I, just, I believe it's actually native to Europe, but it's naturalized all over um, North America now. But very beautiful plant, um, very, uh, I, I like the flavor for tea, and uh, even to put the flowers in my coffee, I like the flavor for that too. Um, <laughs> there's my dog, Lou, filthy and mud covered. Um, the other plant that was here that I wanted to show you, this is uh, milkweed, common milkweed. This is uh, one of the key monarch butterfly support species, and I have it all over my property. And both of these plants, again, are broadleafs, and they would be killed if I used broadleaf herbicides. Um, like I said, I don't do that. Um, and in fact, this um, yarrow, this wild yarrow, uh, I'm considering offering it, uh, possibly drying it out and doing a tea with it, but offering it as a um, product for sale on our farm. So, might post a video or talk about that later and, and dry some of this and put it up for sale. So.